Since he was about six years old, Marcus Messam has been Mr. Fix-It. Most of the times I didn't fix it, I just broke it more. But a STEM education has fixed all that. I just put stuff together. It was like, ah, oh, that's not going to work. I got to do it right. Let me take this all apart, put it back together, and try to do it the right way. And that's what we came up with. A ball fetching and tossing machine made by the Edmondson Westside Junior in a program piloted by instructor Harry Preston called Project Lead the Way. There's so much we can do with just mouse traps or Legos or, or, or popsicle sticks. You know, there's so many opportunities to make math and, and science an actual applied thing as early as pre-K. Drone flight has been a focus, so as taking them and other electronics apart. Building the chassis itself, depending on the material, will take about a month or two months. That's Justin Johnson's handiwork. He and Oriana Taylor are seniors. The excitement is the, um, the, the new challenge that's presented to us every day. Like, there's always something new we have to do, either to design something or build something in a time. I never knew what engineering was, and I always liked to fix stuff, but I never knew that engineering and fixing stuff was like the same thing. From there, she's used computer design, 3D printing to create from her mind's eye. Pretty impressive, especially to their principal. These kids are showing their talents. These young adults are just getting out there, and they're respectful, they're loving, and they are just well-rounded. They've taken off. One student now headed to the Air Force Academy, among others heading to college. They say a STEM education has put them in full control, like Marcus, a childhood curiosity oh, okay. becoming a lifelong pursuit. In Baltimore, Jason Newton, WBAL, TV 11 News.